This is Samantha Paget, General Counsel of the Florida Retail Federation, coming to you from Tallahassee, Florida. First, we want to say Happy Gator Day. It was Orange and Blue Day here at the Capitol, and as a Gator graduate, I'm pleased to say I celebrated the day in orange and blue. But more importantly, let's talk about what happened in the Senate Rules Committee today. It was an action-packed committee with two bills that significantly impact the Florida Retail Federation members. First, there was the data breach bill. This bill has made significant progress. We've been working as part of a coalition effort with other businesses to improve this bill. We appreciate the Attorney General and her staff for working so openly and collaboratively with us. This statute has not been updated in over a decade. In fact, we had been discussing it this past summer before the big data breaches occurred. So just thank you for your support. This will help protect our consumers with the changing technology and we just needed this update and this is one of our priority bills. The Florida Retail Federation and its members value the privacy and confidentiality of its consumers' information, and we are eager to be and pleased to be a part of the team effort um, that has gone into this, this bill. That bill is improving at every stop to make for a bill that protects consumers, but also deals fairly with businesses and addresses their concern. We are excited to see that bill move to the Senate floor. The real nail-biter in Senate rules today was dealing with the Wage Dispute Policy Bill, Senate Bill 926, by Senator Wilton Simpson. As we shared with you last week, there was a bad amendment put on the bill, and we were very concerned about how that bill would move forward. This week, we're pleased to share with you that another amendment was placed on the bill, and what this amendment does is something that we feel is a positive move for both employers and employees. It takes language from a bill that we advocated for last year by Senator Bradley from Clay County, and it put that language on this bill. What it does is provide a solution that uses small claims court to resolve issues of wage dispute, and it provides a solution that is available to all employees the day it is signed into law. It caps the filing fees that an individual would have to file with a small claims court. And let me tell you, small claims court, um, for those of you who are attorneys or not attorneys, the, the judges that work in small claims court, they're used to working with um, individuals that are not represented by counsel. If you're not completely prepared, the judge will typically guide you through the process, but it can be expensive uh, to file uh, in small claims court. So we capped it at $50. It will be available to everyone. No additional local government action is necessary. Now there are opportunities in this bill for local governments to provide additional education, additional access, and additional assistance. And I, we think that's a great idea for them to take that role, that that is a wonderful role for the local government to take. We feel that this is a great move, that this is a great policy on this issue, and we are eager to support this new language moving forward. Thank you so much for your time. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, we welcome your phone calls and emails. Thank you and happy retail.